Are we going to show this? No. Well, you can show. You can always cut it down. If we're going to show this, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bruno is going to in include it. Hello, everyone. Let's have a look at what happened last month in Raycast. I don't know. It's not shipped yet, so I don't want to, you know, <laughs> say anything. Well, now it is. We finally have custom window management commands for pro users. This is a preview sheet in which you can set up your custom window management command. It also represents your current screen and also the dock and uh, the menu bar. What you can customize here is uh, size, pinning position and the offset. In here, you can set absolute or relative values. That is very useful if you are planning to use the same command on different displays with different sizes. One detail that I love is that the icons are dynamically created for each command. It's going to ease the pain of, you know, looking for, for the custom command in this long list. And also in root search, you can see that it's also uh, representing the, the layout. So I record both video and audio. So <laughs> both video and audio. <laughs> a bunch of people from the team got together in Geneva to discuss everything Raycast AI. Our goal was basically to get the week together to get something actionable out of it, but also because we in person we wanted to take the time thinking a bit about what is Raycast AI, what is our strengths, where do we want to go. So if I'm going into the AI chat, what you basically can have here is like a new action where you can add a bunch of attachments. So for example, I can attach my today's schedule. I get a little preview here and then I can continue just writing my prompt. For example, when it's dinner tonight. Um, and then it basically analyzed my calendar and it knows it's at 7 p.m. and we're going to go for Italian food. And attachments will also bring vision capabilities to Raycast. The little scribble here, and one thing that I can do is add attachment, and I can capture a window. So I just capture this window, and then I can just ask, uh, describe the drawing. And then it analyzes the image, and in a short moment, AI tells me what's there. It's like, yeah, head, a nice body, with some legs, and then some scribbling in there. So we're basically trying to enrich AI with like contacts that you have on a desktop that we have access to and a few others. There's a lot, uh, lot of design challenges to be honest. I've poked around a bit with uh, sort of a redesign for the chat to, since there's more and more going on, right? Especially now that we're adding attachments. The question came up like, do we need to introduce chat bubbles? Um, but it's a bit tricky because um, if you have short messages like this, like you usually have in regular chat apps, it's, uh, it's probably quite okay. But once the messages become super long, then the bubbles start losing their meaning. So currently you cannot select messages in AI chats. You can only do something with the latest response you got, right? So copying it or uh, regenerating it, doing anything with it. We're introducing this sort of floating um, inline uh, context menu almost, um, which we could introduce on multiple or any message, basically. Like regenerating is an interesting one with a different model or maybe even a preset. Copying obviously is one, maybe going to earlier messages as well. Not promising anything here, by the way, but uh, just uh, stating the different directions this could go exciting stuff. But let's see if I can poke them any further. Are we going to show this? No. Oh. Um, yes, you will. <laughs> so we were debating about what if the AI can like send you messages at some point, because usually if you have a regular chat with anyone, they will be able to send you a message and then it pops up in your chat app, right? With AI, it's always the other way around. You prompt it at that moment and you get an instant message. But what if we, for example, if you have an AI command to do something smart, but then you have that scheduled, for example, Monday morning at nine, I want to have my weekly overview and it pulls in a bunch of different types of content from different extensions, for example. Could be pretty cool if uh, your chat app becomes sort of this, yeah, actual planning assistant, for example. This is also pretty tricky still from a lot of perspectives, but um, yeah, just it's really easy, of course, in Figma to play around with a bit of a 
uh, exploration. One thing we're uh, we're thinking about is like exposing some sort of tools for extensions. So imagine um, you could ask the linear extension something. If we expose this in root search, like it will be you type linear and there's the quick AI command, for example, allowing you to ask linear stuff like what are what's my top priority for this week or an update on a project or something like that. Like you could basically interact uh, with linear by using AI in Raycast. The way it would work is that um, the extension would provide the AI with some tools and the tool being sort of a function that takes some input and outputs some text or some data. Uh, and based on that data, the, the AI can answer and give you a summary, for example. And to celebrate the release of typing practice, watch Soren's thrilling attempt at beating his PR live on camera. That's it for today's vlog. If you want to keep up with all of our new features and releases, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also make sure to check out the last couple episodes of What's In My Raycast that we put out in May as well. They're here or here.